G'day, this is a power supply for an Xbox 360, often referred to as a power brick. Now, unfortunately, this one's been chewed on quite successfully by a little family pet, which I show you just now. Anyway, often things are considered not user serviceable and they've gone out of their way to make it difficult to get into this. Under the four rubber feet were plastic uh, caps which had to be removed and underneath those were Torx security bits or security screws, T T10s with a hollow tip. So yeah they really went out of their, tr out of their way to stop people getting into one of these. Now try and buy a replacement one of these and it can be a little bit of fun. So anyway, what we're going to do is cut and rejoin and try and reuse this if we can. There's not much to it once you've got the screws out of it. Just a basic power supply. We've actually got a fan in the top half of it too. Probably about a five centimeter fan, possibly a computer supply one. I don't know, I'll have a look in a minute. But other than that, there's not much in there. Make sure you discharge this thing, of course, before you open it up. Otherwise, you'd be sporting a new hairstyle or something worse. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's get to it. Okay, just out of curiosity, I've pulled the fan out. Uh, it looks similar to the type that used in laptops. And as you can see, this one is particularly dirty, although it's still free moving. So I'll be cleaning that up uh, before we reassemble this power brick. Another thing worth noticing, or commenting on, is the shielding underneath. So we're actually going to have to remove that before we can get to the underside of the circuit board. So, I'll get, better get a wriggle on, eh? And there we go. One shield. <laughs> Lots of thermal. Thermal goop? I'm not sure. Looks like thermal goop. Probably just to keep it in place. Anyway. The people were kind enough to mark the circuit board beautifully. I'll just get a close up of that. Okay, now you've seen me do this before to recycle strain reliefs. Make sure it's a speed control drill and it's set to the lowest speed possible. You don't want to be ripping a hole in your fingers. They're the best tools you've got and there's no replacements available. Or so the sign used to say. Just want to work that plastic, so all that rubber rather. Just slow. Okay, we're through. This one's got a reverse on the drill, so we'll just get a bit of hole of it and extract it. Yep, that's completely completely cleared out. A scrap power lead and it should just feed straight through. Should. Yeah. Yep, that'll work fine.
assembly is simply the opposite of the removal. Special attention to which wire goes where, but it's all marked on the circuit board, so it's pretty straightforward. Now I'm using lead solder, but um, there's a good chance, in fact it's probably the most, like, most likely they've used silver based solder on this circuit board because it was a bit of a pain to desolder in the first place. But, all's well now. Last but not least, the blue, which is the power wire according to this. Give it a fresh twist. You don't want a stray strand. Very bad. Getting a short or something like that. might just try and reseat that one a fraction better. Okay, that's going to be a better fit now. And done. Okay. Little LED lens in. There's an LED in there. Not to forget the fan header, which connects just here. Okay, after lining up the circuit board, it went back in nicely. I used the torque screws again and the plugs as well. Um, now it's powered up, and all I'm getting is an orange coloured LED light there. But according to the blurb on the back of it, orange means it's in standby. So I guess I need to plug this in to an Xbox to get it up and running. So, off we go. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Feel free to subscribe, comment, or rate the video.